I want to incorporate core exercises. We can do core exercises using our field. You can do them on the track, but if you want a little softer surface, the field is going to be a great way to do that. Now, your field that you use, it may not be on a flat surface. So it's going to challenge your core to work even harder if you have an unbalanced surface. So what you want to do is you want to start, lay on your back. We're going to go back to the basics using a simple crunch to engage your rectus abdominals. You may heard of the 12 pack or six pack. Those are your rectus abdominals. I also want to show you how to work your obliques. Obliques, we also call those the love handles that we also see when we do different exercises, when we're going across or we're also reaching in a diagonal position. Transverse abdominals, we forget about those a lot. Transverse abdominals are lying underneath the obliques and they wrap just across, okay, in a horizontal plane. And you do exercises crossing the body to work the transverse abdominals. A lot of times you see individuals use medicine balls or any type of object in their hand and they're actually crossing side to side, engaging and twisting at your torso. So we're gonna work the rectus abdominals. And again, 12 pack or six pack you heard of. You wanna place both your knees up, keep your head down, fingertips at your ear. You wanna keep your fingertips at your ear and not behind your head because you don't want to pull on your neck. You want to make sure that you keep your neck very neutral with your spine. So fingertips are at your ear, your legs are at 90 degree angle, and you want to engage your pelvic and your belly button down into the ground as if you're pushing and breathing into your pelvic. And you want to drive the chest up along with the elbows. Keep the shoulders up and you want to inhale down and breathe out when you come up. Doing this exercise, you want to make sure that you keep your lower body completely still. You also want to make sure that you engage your abdominals where you feel the nice contraction or the nice tight squeeze to where it's very comfortable um, for you. If you're not able to lift all the way to your knees, I want you to go just to where you feel that contraction in your abdominal wall. Now, if you wanna work your obliques, very simple, go back to the basics. Knees at a 90 degree angle, fingertips back at the ear. All right, now we can cross the body and we can elongate opposite elbow to opposite knee. You can go faster. For an advance, you can also keep your hands elongated, keeping your chin down into the chest so that you're not straining your neck. And then you can also cross your hands to the opposite side of your knee. You can also work your rectus abdominals as if you're touching your toes, hands go all the way back, and then you drive up again, hands elongate all the way back. Now, to work your transverse abdominals, you can lay on your side, make sure that both of your feet are completely touching. Your hands, the bottom hand, keep it at a 90 degree angle so it's resting on the ground. And you want to make sure that your hips are stacked. Keep your hips right on top of each other. The opposite hand can also be rested on the ground if you are a beginner, because your goal is to lift your bottom hip up and hold this position. If you want to challenge yourself, you can put your hand on your hip, lift in this position, or you can elongate if you're in advance and keep your hand all the way up in the air, just like this. Keep the hip as up as high as you can. Back to the hip or down holding this position. Notice if the hips drop, pull it up. 
Hand on the hip if you are intermediate. Hand in the air if you are advanced. Hand down if you want to start at the beginning and then you switch sides. Now, you may realize that one side is stronger than the other. It's okay. If you have a weaker side, you want to make sure that you really engage and really force that muscle to contract even harder than the opposite side that's a lot stronger. So try those exercises out. It's very important that you make it fun and make it easy for yourself. Bring it back to the basics. If you want to keep a simple sit up, but change the variety of the speed that you use when you do the exercise, that is absolutely fine. Remember, you can use your track, you can use your park, you can use your sidewalk, and you can use any type of location that's going to best fit your needs and what you're trying to do. So check it out. I encourage you to.